joined Dean Canamo this morning to take us through his runners for Saturday. Looking forward to it, Dean. In race two, you've got Bright Duchess, always about, and um, ran on very well from a wide draw last time. Yeah, last time was, was difficult from that draw, and uh, but she, she was doing good work at the finish, and, uh, and I think she's a filly that's knocking on the door. Yeah, the run before was very good, and uh, you know I've got to respect her. But she's come through those runs well, and um, she's a fit filly and yeah, doing well back home. Race three, you've got Spelling Bee, another a horse that ran on really well from a wide draw last time. Um, drawn 10 again over the mile. Yeah, a very good run last time. His first run was also very good, and then he came on with that run, and uh, he ran a good second from difficult also to come from very far back. And uh, But he was making a you know, good steady work all the way up the straight. So I think he'll continue to improve. Uh, this may be a little, maybe a little more competitive than the last race. Uh, big field of runners, you know, drawn 10. You've got to have a lot of luck in Devon. You've got to have a lot of luck in most races. But uh, he's also, I think, will continue to improve. He's one or two got a bit of solid form, but uh, you've got to have great respect for him. Race four, Tempting Fate. You've got Craig Zaki aboard. Um, taking on, on, on good company. How's he doing third run after a rest? Yeah, it's two runs over 1,000, which I think are too sharp for him. I've been very good. And I was looking for a 12.50, and I found the 12.50 probably one of the most difficult races in the country. So I'm very, very nice horses. I'm mean, going to see some fantastic racing on Saturday. Those races are when really top division horses running. But um, you sure, sure will, will enjoy the 12.50. Uh, and he's got to take his chances. He's doing very well. Um, but uh, it's going to be one hell of a race. Very, very good race, but all good with him. Talking about good races, uh, race six, the Cape Mile, you've got Cosmic Highway, it ran on well last time, I know similar comments about your horses running on, but uh, it's a cracking contest. Yeah, very, very, very tough race, I and mean, there's some well-performed horses in that race, I mean, he did run a good race last time, ran a good second. Um, you know, he has run third in the Guineas uh, in, in Durban and in Cape Town, and I think 1,600 metres probably his maximum trip, uh, but uh, you know he was gelded and gave him two runs in Durban, it didn't push him much you know, after the gelding, brought him back, gave him one run in the match mistakes and then it was a very good run last time. Uh, you've got to respect a horse, although it's a very, very difficult uh, and a very competitive race, you've got to respect a horse that can, you know, that's, that's run placed in the, in the Cape Guineas and the Guineas in Durban, so you never leave him at the exotics, but it's a hell of a race and I think this is his, probably his maximum trip. Race six, you've got, sorry, race eight, you've got the two runners. Um, Ideal Act is your syndicate horse, how do you think he'll enjoy the Cape? Uh, change of scenery for him, brought him down, yeah, you know, he was a little bit stuck there, at, uh, he was at 92, 90, 88 uh, rating, and, uh, you know, I thought, oh, let me just send him down to the Cape, you know, so maybe just a change of, 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 of climate, and, uh, but he's, he's got to take his chances, uh, but all is, all is good with him, probably may just need one, you know, run to bring him to his peak racing fitness, but, uh, but he's a difficult race, and then the stable companion, you know, cheeky laddie also has had a long break. Um, he won well at Scottsville, and his next race he ran. I was a little disappointed that he ran a little bit below himself. I brought him back, and uh, he's had a good break. 12.50, because it's tough. I don't know what is, what is really his correct distance. Because uh, in a 12.50 at Scottsville, he was flying up, and then his next one he won over 1,400 meters. So 12.50, course is very fast and very firm. You know, you've got to include him in the exotics. I'm just a little bit quick for him, but uh, he looks well. Uh, include him. Dean, thank you all the best. Thank you very much, Vicky. Uh, Top-notch racing and uh, looking forward to a brilliant day.